Well, believe it or not, we are wrapping up February, which is National Heart Month. And it might sound wrong, but healthy fats can be good for our hearts. So choosing the right oils to use in cooking is key to eating well. So registered dietitian Amy Reed joins us now with what we need to know about using oils. So there are so many yeah. that I feel like have come on the market probably have been around but you know maybe 10 years ago I had not heard of grapeseed oil yeah. <laughs> or people using walnut oil you know I mean there are so many now and what do we need to know about which ones we need to use when and what, what's good for our heart well right gold standard for your heart is you want to use ones that have unsaturated fats in okay. it. the more majority of unsaturated fats the most the biggest one the one that's mostly recommended is olive oil because it's got a high amount of monounsaturated fat there's a lot of studies to show that it's helpful in treatment of diabetes it's what's what's common in the Mediterranean diet that we know is very heart healthy. The thing is, is that you have to think about how you're using your oil. Like for me personally, when I'm baking, I don't like my baked goods to taste like olive oil. So when I'm baking or making a cake or muffins or something like that, I'm gonna use something more like grapeseed or canola oil because it's got a milder flavor. I've actually never tried mm -hmm. grapeseed oil, it, so it, you really don't taste it too much? I don't like, taste it okay. too much. That, that, that's what I know. The other thing is looking at the smoke point. So a smoke point, a high smoke point oil is if you have to heat it above like 400 degrees. So if you're roasting something at above 400 degrees in the oven, you want to make sure you're using an oil that is of a, that can go up that high where it's not going to start going like producing free radicals and stuff if it's too high at that point or smoking too much. Like I just don't like to use oils that can't go to a high smoke point because my kitchen gets smoked. Smoky. So what would that be like if so I'm making a roast? So avocado okay. oil is actually a higher smoke point oil. Sunflower oil is actually a higher smoke point oil. They can, depending on how oils are processed, you might be able to find a canola oil or an olive oil that would be a little bit of a higher smoke point. And sometimes they're even marked on the bottles. A few of these will say this sa this oil is safe to be heated up to like 450 okay. degrees. That's something I've never yeah. actually looked at the bottle yeah, before. Yeah, some of them will. You were saying before, if you were going to sear a mm -hmm. steak, you would not use olive oil. No, I wouldn't. What would you use? I would actually... Since I don't have steak very often, I would probably use butter. Butter? <laughs> Go all in. All right. Go all in with yeah. it. Um, and then there's some, like walnut oil, like this particular version says that it can be heated to 450, but they say when you heat a walnut oil, it can actually make it bitter. So they mm. actually recommend walnut oil, something you don't heat, and you would just maybe use in a salad dressing or something okay. like that. And walnuts, I know, are high in omega-3s. Yeah, they're so. high in omega-3s and things like that. And like every oil is going to give you a different fatty acid profile. Now, I will say the one I don't have up here that's getting a lot of attention is coconut oil. Oh, yes. Um, coconut oil is a saturated fat. I mean, it is solid at room temperature. Um, and the American Heart Association has not come out and said, coconut oil is our choice of heart healthy oil. They still recognize it as a saturated fat and something to be used sparingly. There is still evidence to show that it can. It, they, it, they, some people say it can raise your HDLs, but it also can raise your LDLs, which is your bad cholesterol, hmm. which is thought to lead to heart disease and yeah. not be good long term. So you still need to, it's, to me, it's something you still need to use sparingly. Yeah, because I've seen people on Pinterest mm -hmm. using it in yeah. everything all over the place. And it tastes like I don't like to use coconut oil because I hate coconut. So if I use coconut right. oil, the food tastes like coconut and then I don't eat it. So use, <laughs> use it sparingly. Yeah, use okay. it sparingly. But uh, okay, this is great information. Mm -hmm. So many different choices out there. What's your personal, I guess it would be hard what to ask I? you your favorite because you can use them for I, all different kinds of I food. probably go between olive oil, uh, a grapeseed or a canola, and then avocado oil. That's okay. what I typically use. But I, the other thing too is people think, oh, I'm using this, it's healthier. There are still the same amount of calories. Right. It doesn't matter what the oil is. It's 120 calories per tablespoon. So no everything sparingly. <laughs> okay, but great information, yeah. especially for heart month. Tara?